Hey everyone, I have already filmed and edited a video today and it's uploaded and it's ready to go out and it's all scheduled and then I got hit by a copyright claim. Thanks, Channel 4. So I put in a dispute because it is fair use. Um, we will see what comes of that because at the minute, um, if I just let it be, it won't be monetized, which is one thing, but mostly it's going to be blocked in the UK and Ireland and a few other places, which means that like half my viewers aren't going to be able to watch it, which just doesn't seem fair to me. So like I say, I'm disputing the claim, so that video is going to be a little bit late, it might be delayed by up to a month, we'll see what happens. Um, so now I thought, I still want to get a video out today, so I wanted to talk about something that I tweeted about the other day, and this is an article I came across on the BBC News titled, Woman Humiliated by Walgreens Over Drugs to End Pregnancy. Basically what happened was there was a woman in America who was prescribed a drug by her doctor to end her pregnancy, so like a medical abortion, right? It's fairly common, they happen, and thankfully she can get it over the counter. So she got the prescription, she went into a Walgreens, and the pharmacist refused to serve her because they said they didn't agree with the fact that she was ending her pregnancy. Now I have a hell of a lot to say about this. Um, it, it gets worse, the woman wasn't just refused service but she was left humiliated, she had her current children with her and there was a big crowd kind of gathering around and she was just treated very, very badly. So today I thought I'd read you a few bits from this story and we can have a little bit of a talk about this and why this angers me so much. So the news article starts by saying, an Arizona woman has said she was left in tears and humiliated after a staff member at US pharmacy chain Walgreens refused to give her her prescription medication to end her pregnancy even though her doctor had said she would ultimately have a miscarriage. So that's another big important point here that we're going to talk about in just a minute. Apparently, when she went to Walgreens in the city of... Pure, Piora? I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. To get her prescription, she says a pharmacist refused to serve her on moral grounds, a stance which is within the company's rules. She told the BBC that the staff member was very short, not compassionate at all. She says, I stood at the mercy of this pharmacist explaining my situation in front of my seven-year-old and five customers standing behind, only to be denied because of his ethical beliefs. I get it, we all have our beliefs, but what he failed to understand is that this isn't the situation I'd hoped for, this isn't something I wanted, this is something I have zero control over. He has no idea what it was like to want nothing more than to carry a child to full term and be unable to do so. She said her young son was left trying to figure out what's going on and watching me get upset and trying to figure out why. I left Walgreens in tears, ashamed and feeling humiliated by a man who knows nothing of my struggles but feels it is right to deny medication prescribed to me by my doctor. She said she didn't want other women to endure similar experiences when they were vulnerable and already suffering. Walgreens actually replied to this and they said that in cases like this, it is their policy that staff can refuse service to the customer on like ethical grounds and stuff like that. Um, and so in this case, the pharmacist should have passed her over to a colleague. However, the woman says that this didn't happen. Uh, she says, as the pharmacist could have just passed me on to the lady that was standing next to him, but it did not happen. Instead, the pres prescription was transferred to another Walgreens store um, and the woman had to pick it up there after seeking her doctor's help to ensure the second pharmacy would give it to her. So there's a few big points I want to raise here. I've got to say, I think this is disgusting. I think anyone who has been prescribed medication by a doctor should have access to it. I don't think you should be able to refuse them service on ethical grounds. I don't think that's fair at all. I'm all for people being allowed, you know, to express their beliefs and blah blah blah. Um, and it's one thing when it comes to, say, um, a religious person not wanting to serve ham at a supermarket, like not wanting to handle the ham. I get that, that's one thing, that just affects you. But this is medication we're talking about. This could be the difference between life and death, someone being well and not being well. It's not always an option for people to go to a different pharmacy, to see a different pharmacist, to go somewhere else. It's difficult enough, especially in the US, for people to get the medications they need, for people to afford the medications they need. Don't make it more difficult for people. I don't care if you disagree with abortion. If a woman has been prescribed medication, you give her medication. I don't care if you have a problem with trans people, if a trans person comes into your store and wants to pick up their hormones or medication or whatever, you give it to them. You can't refuse service like that because these are medications that people need. Even if you disagree with them on ethical or moral grounds, that should give you no right to withhold medication from someone. Imagine if a doctor was a Jehovah's Witness working in um, A&E, which I think is like the emergency room in the US or whatever you want to call it, and he's like the only doctor there who can like deal with this one person and they need a blood transfusion, and the doctor's like, yeah, I'm not gonna do it. 
It's against my religious beliefs to do that to your body. And this person is dying and they need the blood transfusion. It wouldn't be fair. You can't withhold medication from another person who needs that medication based on your beliefs. That is not fair. That would be like someone saying, I'm not allowed to eat meat because they're a vegan. But ten times worse because medication. The other thing I want to talk about is the fact that this news article made a very big deal over the fact that this wasn't like an optional thing. This woman wasn't just wanting an abortion. She had to have an abortion, right? Um, so apparently the baby was not developing properly. Um, it was She was probably going to miscarry anyway, and it was better to get a medical abortion earlier um, to save both her and the unborn fetus trauma. And by getting it done earlier, um, it kind of increased her chances of her having other babies in the future, which she wanted, right? So she's there, she's already crying, she's vulnerable, and then she's treated badly. Um, it's It's awful, right? But I wonder would this story have made the news if this was just a regular woman who didn't feel ready for a baby yet? Imagine this was a woman who just wanted an abortion. She didn't feel she'd be a good parent. Maybe the father wasn't around, maybe he was and they didn't want a baby. Any number of reasons. Imagine it was a teenage mum. Imagine it was a woman in her 40s who was like, I've done my time, I don't want a kid right now. You know, all these different situations. Imagine it was a woman who didn't actually want a baby. Imagine it was her choice to have the abortion, and this pharmacist was there, kicking up a fuss, making her feel crap, making her suffer, humiliating her in front of a crowd of people. Would this story have still made the news? I don't think it would. And I think people look down on women who want to have abortions, or who have to have abortions, and I don't think that's fair. Now, I wouldn't go as far as to say something like, there was a really disgusting like quote from Lena Dunham a few years back where she said something like, Oh, I've never had an abortion, but I wish I had. That's taking things too far. That's disgusting. Like, why would you want to get pregnant to abort the baby? That just blows my mind, and it's weird, and I don't like Lena Dunham anyway. But there are many situations where pregnancy is an accident, it's unplanned, um, and it's, it's not a good idea to carry out the baby to full term. And I think every woman should have the right to choose over what is growing inside her body. We don't need a world where there are more, like, unwanted babies being born, babies without parents, babies born addicted to drugs, babies born with diseases passed on from the mother. There's already too many children in the adoption system that don't have good homes. It seems selfish to bring more babies into the world when we have an option not to. And I don't think women who choose to have an abortion should be shamed for it. Anyway, I'm kind of rambling on this topic now, but I just want to say that, like, I've had a lot of people call me a baby murderer for saying that I'm pro-choice, um, and I completely disagree. I've never been pregnant, I've never had an abortion, so I personally have never killed a baby, thankfully. And even if I had had an abortion, I don't think that makes me a baby murderer. I don't think that makes anyone a baby murderer. I think it's a horrible thing to say. I know the whole topic of abortion is a very controversial one, um, but honestly, I think it's better to make sure that when we have children, they're wanted. And I don't think it's fair to bring a child into a world when they're not 100% wanted and loved and looked after. But that's just my view. I kind of want to hand this over to you and I want to know what you think about this idea of, you know, withholding medications on ethical grounds, which it blows my mind and seems so unfair to me and it makes me really angry. But I want to ask you guys what you think. Um, and do you think this story would have been reported differently if the woman had chosen to have an abortion rather than kind of being forced into it medically because of problems with the baby. Uh, let me know what you think. I know this was a little bit of a kind of controversial video. I know this was a little bit of me just ranting at the camera because I didn't have anything planned because screw you Channel 4 and your copyright claims. <laughs> but like I say, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching today. I really do appreciate you guys. You're amazing. And I'll see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching today. If you liked this, you can see more from me on the Here and How podcast, a weekly science podcast I co-host. I also have merch available if anyone is interested and wants to check it out. But for now, thank you so much to everyone watching and an even bigger thank you to everyone supporting me on Patreon this month. A special, special thank you goes out to Gambit and his chauffeur, Dave Sean, Mark Darner, Bias Lemmings, Christian Berg, Religion is BS, Rachel B. Royer, Matthew Minamar, Jay Lee Moore, Sir Michael Moore, Jaden Shepherd, Greg Clive, Pixelated Skeptic and Tate D. Gibbs. You're all amazing, and to everyone mentioned on this end screen and down in the description below, I love you guys so much. Thank you.